This is Chris from HackerDaily.com demonstrating our encrypted messages application for Android. This is kind of like a Swiss army knife of encrypted messaging and it's pretty swift. Um, it's very versatile, very lightweight and somewhat easy to use. Here's the main screen of the application which is the encryption slash send portion of it which allows you to type your messages and um, select your method of delivery and your password to encrypt them with. We're looking at a few fields here. Shared password is the password that um, you would share with one, one or more parties in order to decrypt this message. Um, the next field is how you're actually going to deliver the message. Right now it's saying send to so the SMS text feature is selected. We could change this to email which would be mail to where you would need a person's email address there instead of a phone number for SMS text or save the file. Save to file allows you to um, save notes to the local device encrypted. So not only can you send encrypted communications, but you can save them as note files too. So that's very handy. You can store your own private information, hopefully without fear. If your phone got confiscated or lost or stolen, not everything on your phone will be in clear text. I'm going to go back into the SMS mode real quick. As you change your features here, of course this changes, the button down here changes corresponding to what you're trying to do, and your message limit changes. You will notice it says you have a 140 character limit when you do SMS text, I believe it's 800 or so when you do email, and 1600 when you are saving it as a note file. It really doesn't matter if you're copying it to a clipboard. That is another feature. Anything you type up here gets encrypted here based on a password here. You can copy it to the clipboard or you can use one of these features here. If you copy it to a clipboard, that gives you more versatility to use it in any other application that you see fit. Or say that you have a shared web page somewhere or a Twitter account that you're pasting messages back and forth anonymously between your um, other parties who's decrypting them. You can just paste it there using this copy to clipboard and paste it in your browser. Now this is your message part where you actually type your message that will be encrypted down here. There are some canned messages here. There's not many. We welcome suggestions for more. But these are just a few to help you get started. Um, you can say let's meet at and it will type that in for you. And you can say Mall 11 and you notice right here that's the message encrypted. This encryption will change when you change your password here. So you got to make sure whatever you use up here is a known between the parties trying to decrypt it. Now if I was going to send this as an SMS message I would type in the phone number here and click send down below and it will send it directly from this application to any phone number you choose. Um, for per demonstration purposes of this video, I'm just going to copy it to the clipboard in just a moment. There is another feature in the CAN messaging is insert your GPS location. I do a live video that will be following this video screencast of the emulator. The emulator cannot <coughs> use GPS because there's not one in the emulation mode. So we have to use a real phone. But if I had a real phone and click that, it will insert my GPS location into this text here and then it will be encrypted so when you send it ever who receives your message will have a, a link they can copy and paste and put in a browser and see the location you're talking about alright so this is the send slash encryption creation screen I'm going to copy this to clipboard and then we want to show how you would decrypt a message that was sent to you via SMS text or email or, or any other method you copied from a web page you will click menu and go decrypt now you're in the decryption screen, the shared password, again, very important that you have that correctly uh, typed in. If not, it will not decrypt. I'm going to just change the password to something I know is incorrect. Now you have your choices to copy from clipboard. So you got an SMS message and you copied that message into the clipboard. You would just come here and say copy from clipboard. Or if you're saving encrypted note files locally, you can tell it to load file. First, let's do the clipboard. All right, there's our message pasted from the clipboard. Next, you just want to tell it to decrypt. <coughs> uh, decryption failed because the password is incorrect. So let's change the password to the correct password, and now I tell it to decrypt. 
this meet at a mile at 11. Uh, we can also load files here. You would change it from copy from clipboard to load files. You would type the file name here, in this case sensitive. Um, so if you save your files in different case, remember that. There is a question mark here that will list the files down here for you. This now becomes a display area for your file listings. And if there's too many files, of course, it will scroll to you find the files. The only thing you need to worry about is the file name before the .emt. So we'll go up here and I'm going to type in test. And I'm going to tell it to load file. Again, it's very important. Well, you'll see. It says loaded. But now it says you need now to decrypt with password. So it's telling you before you decrypt it, make sure that password is correct and tell it to encrypt. So this is an encrypted. That's all I had in that file. Um, but the files can be fairly large, 1600 encrypted characters. It's a fairly large file. You can store a lot of um, information in those files and have as many as you want. So again, this is the encrypted messenger from Hacker Daily. We're looking at the decryption screen, so that's when you receive a message, you want to decrypt it, or you want to load a file and want to decrypt it, you will go here. When you want to create a message, you will go to the main screen when you first open the application, and type your message, and decide which mode or copy the clipboard that you want to do. It's a very simple application, but it's a very versatile application. And we hope you find it useful. We welcome your suggestions. And let's switch over to live video now and demonstrate how you can actually send and receive text messaging and insert GPS locations. Hi, this is Chris from Hacker Daily. Um, I'm not quite sure what I've done in this video because I'm doing it in different pieces. This is the live video portion. I'm going to show you some things that you can't do a screen capture of using the Android emulator, such as real GPS um, coordinates and um, SMS messaging where you actually can send text messages between two phones and devices. Uh, in the background here we have a tablet. I will be using a, a real phone for the most part instead of a tablet for demonstration purposes mainly because my tablet doesn't have a um, SMS capabilities. It's not a phone, it's just a tablet. So we're going to launch our encrypted messages app and now we're inside our encrypted messages app. This is the main page. We want to demonstrate decrypting a um, text message that somebody has sent you. Um, so you can send and receive encrypted text messages using this application. And the only way you can decrypt them is that field that says shared password. You both have to use the same password when you send and receive in order to decrypt the messages properly. Um, right now I got an email mode. It really doesn't matter because when we go to decrypt, we're going to have to switch over to decrypt um, functions. This is the send screen for the most part. So let's change over and grab our encrypted text message. So I'm going to take this out of the way for one moment while I search this. Okay. So there's our encrypted text message. What I want to do is hold down and tell it to copy message text. That puts it on the clipboard. Next, we want to launch our encrypted messaging application again. And now we want to decrypt this. So the main screen doesn't do decryption. It only does encryption, sending via email, text message, and um, copying the clipboard and saving to a file. So if you click your menu button on your phone, uh, you should have a menu up here. And um, most of these are self-explanatory. Close menu and exit. You know, does exactly what it says. The um, decrypt is where we want to go. But if you were to click Hacker Daily button, it just takes you to our website. So click decrypt, and you're brought into the um, decryption screen. Uh, decryption works in two ways. You can either copy something from the clipboard, so you can get an email and you copy the um, encrypted text or SMS messaging and you copy the encrypted text like we're doing in this example or you have a file that's on your um, phone that you want to load that's encrypted um, and, but for this purpose we're going to click copy from clipboard and it pastes the encrypted text on your clipboard again very important you know your password I left it default for the purpose of this video but I'm going to just change it just to show you what it's like when you type in your own password so I added H the word password I'm going to tell it it's decrypt. Decryption failed. Is it a bad password? So, yes, it is in this case. 
we want to fix that we want to go back and tell it to decrypt and there's our decryption it actually is a Google Maps location um, and we tell it to copy this to the clipboard so now I can paste that URL because that's a URL and it will show me where the person is who sent me this um, and I'll show you how this works too. Let's go back to Create Encrypted, which is the main screen. You have a few canned options. Um, you, any of these things you click will type in, I have arrived, list me that. I might add others. I take suggestions to see what the most popular ones is. But this is basically keeping you from having to type these messages. Um, but if you notice, the last one says, Insert your GPS location. Well, if I click that, it will insert your GPS location there and then you can send it as an encrypted message there so nobody else but the receiver can decrypt it with the right password okay I probably need to hurry up this video because I know they don't allow it so long so let's launch a browser real quick pasted the URL that's decrypted and we'll tell it to go and what you see now is Google Maps and it's showing the um, URL that was sent to me encrypted so there's the person's address that was encrypted and they sent it to me um, this is like a Swiss army knife of encryption. It might not seem like it at first, but knowing everything you can do with this, because when I designed it, I designed it to be very universal. Um, not only can you send your know, text messages, send it by email, and you can save it as an encrypted file to your phone, you can merely just say copy the clipboard and paste it in any application, put it on Twitter or any other site that you are sharing information you don't want others to see to uh, remain private. So the encrypted messenger and you know I want suggestions because we're all about you know creating tools for people who um, who want to use them but this is really neat I mean when you get used to loading and saving files I can save this locally to a file and just give it a file name here um, Tell it to save, and it's now saved to a file. I'm going to go to decrypt. I'm going to tell it to load from file, and you type in the file name that you want to load. If you don't know your file name, you hit a question mark, and down here in the decrypted area, it will tell you that um, that's the file listing. I got one called test, so I'm going to click test. Excuse me. Okay. So I'm going to load test. Now it says loaded. Now decrypt password. So you make sure your password's right. You click decrypt, and there it is. Well, I hope this is a um, good explanation of how useful this encrypted messages application can be.